Hi everyone, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Today I've got a really exciting video. I've got this Christmas inspired holiday makeup for you guys. I do want to point out I am a little bit sick at the moment so please ignore the nasalness of my voice. That's why I'm going to do a voiceover today. So hopefully my voice and my nasals my nasals. My sinuses are a little bit more clear when I film the voiceover part, so let's let's hope for that. But I do actually feel fine. I just sound, you know, I just sound a little bit funny. So today's look is not typically wearable to most people. I know if you switch the red lip to a nude lip that this look will be taken down heaps and I feel like it'll be pretty wearable. But yeah, I really did want to do something really like festive Christmas inspired. That's the reason I went pretty glam and dramatic today and did the burgundy and the red. It almost kind of looks like um, monochromatic. I think that's the word for it. Yeah, so I've just got a really nice kind of burgundy eye. I've got a pop of silver. Um, dead in the middle. It's very like glittery here. I didn't do any wing liner surprisingly. I felt like the look was pretty dramatic already so I didn't really need to do any liner and I've got one of the Super Stay Matte Ink Lips on. Love this colour. It's one of my favourites. Despite me being sick I feel like I'm being way too chatty and we need to get into the makeup tutorial so before we do make sure you comment down below, thumbs up the video, make sure you subscribe to the Maybelline channel so you guys are updated every time we upload new Maybelline Makeup Loft videos. And yeah if you want to see how to get this dramatic glam Christmas look then just keep on watching. Okay, so I did already do my brows off camera just to save some time. I just used my Total Temptations brow pencil in the color Deep Brown. And for my eyes, I'm going to use my Age Rewind Concealer just to prep them for eyeshadow. So after I've laid my concealer down, I'm just going to blend it out and then I'm going to set it down with my Fit Me powder. To start out my eye look today, I am going to use the Master Blush Palette and I'm going to use that light pink shade as my transition color. So all I'm doing here is just fluffing this through the crease and just building up the color to the intensity that I want. So now I'm going to take the Burgundy Bar Palette and take that deep maroon shade. I'm just going to start deepening up the whole eye look. I did end up going in with a smaller brush just so I could really pack on that color and then going back in with the bigger brush just to really smoke that out. And I'm also bringing that color into the tear duct. I'm going to do like a halo spotlight kind of smoky eye today. And then I'm going to pack this deeper kind of purpley maroon shade just all over the lid. To give this look a bit of shimmer and dimension, I'm going to take the City Mini palette and this beautiful glittery silver and just pop this on right in the center of my lid. So now I'm going to curl my lashes. Like I said last time, I like to kind of pulsate the curler just to really hold that curl. And I'm going to use my Big Shot Mascara. So totally optional, I did put on some lashes for some drama. And I'm going to use my Master Prime Illuminating Primer. I just wanted to have some real radiance to my skin because I am using a matte foundation today. And for my foundation, I'm using my Superstay foundation. I really like this because it has really, really good coverage and it does have really good lasting power. So I definitely wanted to use this, especially if you're going out for the night and you want your makeup to last a really long time. This is the one for you. I'm now going to go back in with my Adri One Concealer just to cover up my dark circles. They were really dark today. I'm going to also put this on my chin and down the sides of the nose. And then I'm going back in with my sponge just to blend it all out. So for under my eyes, I'm going to set it with my Fit Me powder just because it is a lighter shade. And then for the rest of my face, I am going to use my Super Stay powder. This one's in the color Nude. I'm now going to take my Master Contour Palette just to give my face a bit of shape and a bit of bronzing. So just around my cheekbones, my jawline and a little bit on my forehead. 
And going back in with my Master Blush palette, I'm going to use the same blush I used on my eyes. And a thing I've been doing lately is bringing the blush up onto my nose. I just feel like it kind of makes it look a little bit more natural. And of course, we can't forget the Master Chrome for a holiday look. So I'm just going to put this on the tops of my cheekbones and on my cupid's bow and a little bit on my nose. I also do put it on my tear ducts just to really bring some light to the eyes. I'm going back in with my burgundy bar and I'm just going to use the same colours that I used before just to really smoke out that lower lash line. I'm now going to take my studio gel liner and I'm going to put this just on the outer half of my eyes just to make the look a little bit more dramatic and then I'm just going to finish off with my Big Shot mascara. So last but not least, I'm going to use the Superstay Matte Ink Lip in the colour Pioneer. This red is perfect for the holidays. It's one of my favourite reds. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.